It's wonderful that we're 10 years old this year and we're still growing and developing to the needs of our students because students are at the heart of what we do at the Recovery College. The concept of the Recovery College didn't actually start in England. It started in America, in Boston, with a recovery education centre, where they discovered very, very quickly that if they provided education, self-management skills to people who use mental health services, that actually had quite a profound impact on people being able to feel empowered and move forward with their recovery in their lives. Our courses come in different categories starting with supporting students to understand what they're going through, to working on their strengths to develop self-management skills. Students then leave with more structure in their lives and a renewed sense of purpose. The self-management skills they learn support them to live better alongside their mental health issues and to achieve the things that are meaningful for them. The Recovery College has such an important role to play in supporting service users achieve the recovery goals that they have set for themselves. As a clinician, it's been my experience that the earlier someone is introduced to and engages with the courses and support offered by the college, the sooner they recover a sense of control over their lives and confidence in their abilities to achieve their goals. I personally have observed a transformational impact in the lives of those people who've taken up the opportunities offered by the Recovery College. It is an investment of your time, but it is an investment you make in valuing yourself and your recovery. Um, the first impressions of the college is wow, um, it was everything that I ever wanted to be looked for. Um, I'd spent a lot of time running around London to uh, try meditation here and try um, relaxation there and it was the least relaxing thing to be able to do and to have everything under one roof was just like a big, big biscuit. And um, the, the staff and the friendliness when you first arrived and the communication beforehand made such a difference. What makes the college work so well, I feel, is the in, is the people, the people that um, deliver the courses and, and everyone around that make the whole um, college run. And it's the inclusivity that you feel as a student when you arrive um, that makes you just feel part of a family straight away. And for me especially, I think it was really important for the college to not feel like um, a kind of medical practice. It just feels like a regular college that you go to and you don't have to think about mental health until you're doing the course. And it, it's more like a kind of well-being centre than it, it is feeling like um, a kind of a clinical environment. So I think that really, really helps. Coming to the college um, has given me, definitely has given me a new sense of purpose um, and routine and it's given me so much confidence to go back out into the world and, um, and attempt to improve relationships, um, whether that be in work or in family. Um, I've used as much as I can the tips and techniques and ideas that we learn through the different courses because there's such a range, it covers everything. Um, and being able to introduce those and use those to kind of better myself, but also just improve my, my self-care and my assertiveness in the world. Working at the college as a practitioner trainer has really transformed the way I relate to people in recovery, people who support them and colleagues within the trust. When we review courses, um, the lived experience of the peer trainer and the learned knowledge of the um, practitioner trainer come together. In another word, we share the same commitment, but we carry different wisdom to that process. And when the peer trainer joins the quality assurance panel, which reviews the courses, they actually bring the voice of the service user forward because historically that voice has not been given great value and also um, by sharing their experiences they use everyday language and um, experience that actually students relate to it and that makes the learning process more natural and meaningful. So when peer trainers support students at the beginning of their journey, it instills the sense of hope. Then students think about what if 
my life could be better? How can I improve myself? How can I work on my abilities? Uh, how can I recognize what I have done before so I can bring it forward? And that actually empowers the other students in class to um, get together and help each other to have better lives. So learning doesn't happen just in the classroom. It continues supported outside of the classroom and in such a way that the community becomes better, more capable of dealing with difficulties. The difference of peer trainer, I think, can be that we can be honest and open and show a comfort level about our own uh, recovery journey and uh, easily connect with our students and also show progress towards our goals and and uh, what's possible and what the recovery college can bring to your to your journey. When I look back 10 years ago and I kind of think about what were we trying to do and kind of what kind of impact and we were kind of just really thinking of this as kind of just something we could offer in South West London which would enable people to become educated, to start self-managing their conditions, to be empowered and really become the driving forces in their own recovery. And what we found within a short space of time that actually there was a lot of interest all over England, Nottingham, Bristol, Bath, all over the place. People started to kind of get this idea around recovery as an educational force. And actually that whole part, not just treatment, but educating people about their condition and giving them the tools to self-manage their conditions. We started having lots of visitors from all over the place and within a short space of time, recovery colleges were popping up all over the country. Where we are now, 10 years later, I'm really shocked and, and really pleased. I think the Recovery College now, as a kind of component of mental health services, is a core intrinsic part. It's just as important as the community mental health teams, our crisis services, our inpatient wards. The, the Recovery College provides that additional component which now helps people to move forward with their lives in their own way. The Recovery College has kept itself relevant over the last 10 years by constantly developing and improving. And one thing we're very proud of is our training programme that trains our students to become peer trainers. We've most recently developed a suite of online materials to support our students who cannot come to our face-to-face -face courses. And over the next 10 years, we'll continue to listen to our students in everything we do.